Hi, uh, I thought I would show how to create graphs in S2. So, first of all, I search for graphs and found an image of some graphs. So, here it is. Uh, and uh, let's use this one to create some graphs. So let's start in the S2 engine. Wanna load the project. Okay, here we are. I have made a folder called vegetation and uh, inside I, I have uh, some subfolders one for grass, one for plants, one for rocks and one for trees so let's go into the grass folder first of all let's import uh, texture I have selected the uh, texture here like this okay there it is next thing is to create a grass material we go to materials vegetation grass and right click new file and let's call this grass one and we select inspect select the textures and drag our grass here and we can live without specular uh, what more uh, we go to properties here turn on uh, alpha test and uh, let's see if it was anything more yeah we are going to use this as a vegetation so here under uh, you find vegetation make a mark there and I think that was all so save material next thing is to create a grass object so we go here to objects <coughs> vegetation grass right click new file and scroll until you find grass and let's call it grass one right click inspect and you will see this first thing is to tell uh, which material this grass object should use and so we go down to materials here click and find our grass material, material we did here select that one and open it looks like this and uh, we can set a distance for when it, uh, where it should uh, be visible I will set 10 meters like that what more here you can uh, change some things um, number of plants uh, that will be generated uh, the size of them the radius 
and uh, if it's going to pick up the uh, color from the terrain or not so you can play along with those I will increase the radius a bit I think okay so save so now we can go to the scene and drag this grass into view and as you see it works quite nice so that was grass see you next time bye bye